Okay, so when we get a fire call, what you can hear is the sound is going off. And what you can see is the printer. So what you've got there is the crews now know who's going and where they're going. They've got the printer turn out. So hopefully they should be jumping on the pumps. So now they'll be looking on their terminals. Once they're all in attendance. It's fine, yeah, yeah. Um... So once they uh, arrive at the incident, the officer in charge will jump off. He'll start to get some information uh, from whoever's a member of the public is available. As you can see, the guys are starting to run out of the hoses. The officer in charge will start to make his plan as to what he wants to do and how he wants to achieve it. You can see them running out the yellow hose reel, which is usually our first attack. And you can see them running out the red 45mm hose. The officer in charge has done his 360 of the whole building, trying to get as much information as he can. You can see he's holding a thermal image camera, trying to get any uh, readings. He's now going to quickly brief the crew as to what he wants them to do and how he wants them to achieve it. Okay, so now that he's briefed his crew and what he wants to do, hopefully he's given them the hazards and risks available as well. He's got his BA team ready. Uh, as you can see, we've got a nine metre ladder coming off the back of the pump. Breathing apparatus crew uh, are starting to be rigged, ready to go in. So there's the nine meter ladder going in. But the BA entry control officer, he'll decide where he wants his teams going and how he wants them to go in. We can see the hoses being filled with water. That's them just checking the hose just to make sure everything works correctly.
the entry control officer is getting his kit together to make sure that the BA crew are safe once they're inside as well. So the officer in charge is now briefing his crew as to what he wants to do. There's one person in the building. They're going to go in and search and start to firefight while they're in there. They are now starting up their masks, ready to go. They'll do a complete safety check. As you can see down by the ladder, they have a ladder rescue kit uh, in place. So if they should need it, if the casualty is unconscious or is unable to get out on their own power, we can put the uh, ladder rescue kit in place and lower them down safely. So the BA crew are also taking up the harness as well to help for the rescue. Okay, so they're about to go in. Before they go in, we always make sure we have a safety hose charged ready to go so that if the fire gets too bad, we can get some more water on it if need be. He'll put a big loop in the hose uh, to carry over his shoulder so that they can go up. Okay, just checking the building before he goes in, make sure he's safe, make sure the floor is safe. second team member. So breathing apparatus crews are always teams of at least two. We never work on our own. Second man goes in, make sure the room is safe as he does. And now they'll start to perfect their search and rescue and their firefighting. You can see the ladder is now being repitched which means that it'll be extended and then put back against the building so that we can get the ladder rescue kit in place should they need it. Okay, so as the guy starts to climb up the ladder, he's gonna hook a bracket over the rounds of the ladder and it'll lower down a carabiner on a line to the crews should they need it. Okay, now it's coming down. And we can see the breathing apparatus crew 
starting to connect the casualty that they found to the ladder rescue kit. The guys at the bottom of the ladder will start to set up a system so that we can safely lower the casualty down. Okay, so they've got him in position now. Casualties at the window. Hopefully getting some much needed fresh air. And I'll start to lower him out. Got to take out the slack to make sure that they don't drop the casualty. See now that the casualty is being laid out the window to the guys on the ground. So they'll unclip him from the harness and start to take him back. He'll go to what's known as our trauma care area where he'll be treated for his injuries before being passed on to the ambulance crews. Now obviously we still have a BA crew in the building, so what we do now is we need to reposition the ladder again so that the guys that are inside can come out, which means undoing the top bracket. See the firefighter taking what we call a leg lock, which is to position himself safely on the ladder, just to unhitch it. Normally, at this point, we'd expect the BA crew to be firefighting, it's doing any kind of further search of the building that we need to. Taking the thermal image camera which shows up heat spots. Okay, so the ladder is being repositioned. They're going to lower it to go back into the window opening. We can see that the guys are using the uh, hose reel in order to help with some ventilation. This is the BA crew coming out safely again. Having hopefully dealt with the fire. So at this point, the BA crew will go back to the entry control board and they will give the OIC, the incident commander, a debrief, tell him what they found, tell him any issues that they've come across. I 
Okay, it's the second crew member comes out the window bringing his hose reel with him. Just being guided to make sure he doesn't trip over it. Okay, so now that the guys have done that, what they're going to do now is they clear the ladder. Entry control officer and the BA crew are discussing with the incident commander uh, what they found, what they've seen inside the building. So the OIC is happy that they can shut down the set. The guys are now doing what we call boundary cooling, which is to stop any of the heat spread. Um, if there are neighbouring properties, or if there are um, external oil features, uh, it just takes the heat out of the building. So in this scenario, uh, as you can see, there's smoke coming from the building. Obviously, this is a training drill, um, and the guys would normally go in, put out the fire. Um, we wouldn't leave, obviously, until the fire's extinguished. Um, and all the hazards have been cleared. 